what's up you guys this your girl cj and on a lighter note <laughs> from my previous video um if you watched my previous video um then you know that i lost my fur baby um gizmo if you have not watched that video please pause this one go watch that one first comment in the description i mean not in the description comment in the comments and then get back to this one um i am back you guys with a retwist and stuff um so i want to share that with you guys um it's been a while since i had a retwist done and there's a whole story behind that um i haven't had a retwist done in such a long time I'm I'll post the last date that I had a retwist which is right here and the date that I got this retwist done the story goes like this I was previously with um, a hairstylist her I can say her name now her name was Miss Sarah Harris very wonderful, sweet uh, young lady. What's that young lady? Um, she was so sweet. I loved the way she did my locks. But unfortunately, she was unable to um, continue doing my locks because they are small. My locks are small. And yeah, some of them are combined. But um, my locks are small and... Um, she, as she told me in her words, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. Um, when I do your locks, they make, my locks would make her hands cramp up on her. So she said she, she did about four retwists on me. Um, she said that she could tell after the first time doing my hair that her hands were going to cramp up with me, but she kept trying to do it. And then she came to the realization that she could not do my hair anymore because it was causing my hands to cramp up on her understandable totally understandable um so what she did was try to find someone else to do my hair <laughs> um this young lady that she found to do my hair um i'm not even gonna say her name give her that pleasure um she was doing she did my hair one time and she twisted them like super duper tight and that wasn't a I don't think that was a problem I don't know um but anyways I noticed some thinning I got lint yeah okay I noticed some thinning on it looked like thinning on some of my locks that was like back here and um, so and it looked like some of them were combined uh, unintentionally I don't know if they were intentionally or whatever but it looked like some were combined so what I did is I went back up to um, the shop and I showed her the locks that looked like they had been combined to me and she said she said she it looks like they were just wrapped around each other since they're so small but um then i tried to uh schedule a maintenance um day with her so she could look over my locks and if anything was wrong with them because it was her suggestion she was like we can do a maintenance um appointment to see what all we need to do to fix it and get that done and I asked her I was like okay cool how much she told me I don't know 50 bucks I was like but she was charging me 65 to do my my hair I was like okay I'll bring 65 just in case my dog is constantly knocking stuff down it's not my dog it's my brother's dog but it feels like my dog because I feel like I do more with the dog than my brother does but, um, yeah, he's knocking over stuff. It's a little puppy. But, anyways, um, I told her, I was like, okay, I'll bring 65 just in case. 
she was like all right and she was like just text me or whatever for the date and i was like okay cool so i text her she didn't respond so i waited i was like okay maybe she's busy text her again she didn't respond so i went up to the shop i was like okay i have free time let me go up there and do the appointment face to face went up there and the owner of the shop was like oh she's not here she just they just actually left to go to the store I was like, okay, cool. So the the lady said that she was doing. I knew her, so I used previously worked with her, and I think I went to school with her too. So me and her, we were sitting there. We was just talking and talking and talking. And the owner of the shop, we was talk all three of us talking, and um, we're just having a good time. I bought some of her hair oil. Matter of fact, bought some, and um, then. What have I, I? She, the owner of the shop, had called her, Facetimed her, and she was like, "Um, it's it's a young lady here that's wanting to get set an appointment up with you." She was like, "Okay, cool." And so, um, we set the appointment up right then and there. And she texts me back the next day, y'all, and she was like, "I'm so sorry, I forgot that my son or daughter, but her baby." had a doctor's appointment so she was like can blah 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 do your hair in there and i was like am i wrong for this comment below i was like well I'm, i really would like to keep one person on my head i don't want a lot of different people in my locks i just want one person in my locks my reason behind that is because you know how you're doing my locks you know what's going on with my locks you know what needs to be done with my locks. So I just want that one person. I don't want somebody else being like, oh, what happened last time? What did they do with your hair last time? Not knowing what to do, what was done with my hair, what direction my hair was going. That was my reasoning. If I'm wrong, comment below. If you're like that, comment below. So I text her back and asked her that. She didn't respond. So what I did was I went up to the shop and I asked was about the owner. I'm not going to say her name either. I asked her and she was, they, the other employee gave me her number. And I called her and I explained to her what was going on, but I needed an appointment because she did my hair. And she asked What's going on? Does she not want to do your hair? It seemed like she not want to do your hair or what? And I was like, I don't, I'm not sure, but it's hard for me to get in uh, contact with her. I've done everything she asked me to do. Like she asked me to text her and put my name on it and be like, hey, add me to your phone. And she texts me back, got you. So I'm like, okay, I've done everything she asked me to do. I've been, I don't, I don't, and she, this, the owner was like, okay, cool. We can set up appointment and all that stuff. And she was like, I have this day available. I'm like, okay, cool. And so we, what I thought we set up an appointment that day comes, I text her, Hey girl, I'm on my way. Letting her know. I'm en route to you to get my hair done. And she texts me back with a quickness. I never confirmed an appointment with you. <laughs> I never confirmed an appointment with you. But on the phone, she told me, yeah, we can do it. We can do it on this day. This time. And she said, what she say? Um, she said, uh, text me to let she was she matter of fact she was like shoot me a shot a picture of your hair and pick a hairstyle out that you that you want to style them in i'm like oh, oh oh let me do that so i sent her a picture of how my my locks looked and everything but she was like we never confirmed we never confirmed the time and date and i'm like okay 
So I texted her back. I was like, okay, what do I do now? She never responded either. So I was like, okay, wow. So I'm walking around here, my head looking a hot mess. This is my head. I'm walking around looking like this. Looking like this, y'all. So I finally like like one of my coworkers, she wears locks too. So I'm like, okay, let me try your shop again. So I tried to go to her shop. Um, I scheduled an appointment with the owner again. She we confirmed the date and the time and everything, and it landed on the same day that my dog passed. Um but I still went to try and get my hair done. Um, I went up there and she, I was sitting there waiting and she comes, she's like, you know, your appointment was at two. I showed up at two 30. She was like, you know, your appointment was at two, right? And I was like, um, I thought it was at two 30. She was like, no, sweetie, it was at two o'clock. Um, and she was like, I'm sorry, but after 30 minutes, I do have to cancel your appointment because I have other appointments. And she was like, the way I set up appointments, they're like kind of back to back to back. I was like, okay, that's understandable. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, please let her be able to do something. Or this person canceled this next something. God, please. <laughs> you see my head. You know I need something done. So... Oh, I didn't even blend my makeup. Y'all don't look up here. <laughs> I'll try to throw some powder or something on real quick and then come do this video. But anyways, she was like, let me see what I can do. And she um, she was like, she went to the back and she talked to the girl that was in the back. And she was like, she came back. She was like, okay, she's going to do your hair. I was like. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so she uh, she washes my hair and she does my hair for me. I felt like she did my hair faster than anybody else has done my hair. And they, I mean, it was really cool. Like they had, um, it was another girl that was sitting in there. She was getting her lashes done, like individual lashes put in. I was like, oh, cool. I was like, and I was like, do y'all do brows too? Because, you know, these things, they need to be tamed. And I also want to get them tinted too. And she said, they told me that I was like, yeah, that was both the ladies, the one that was doing my hair and the one that was doing the lashes. They both was like, yeah, we uh, we do it. And um, I was like, do y'all tint? And I was like, yeah, we tint lashes also. And I was like, so how much to... um." clean them up, clean the, the lash, my, not lashes, but brows. Brows is what I'm talking about. How much to clean the brows up and then tint them. And if I'm mistaken, it's about, what, 30 bucks. I was like, okay, cool. I can work that. Let me get my, get paid, boo-boo. And then I'm going to be back in here to get my um, brows done. And, um, but yeah, I like the way she did my hair. Um, I felt bad for her because I have a mole, y'all. And I try to tell everybody about this mole because I don't want you to be doing my hair and be like, oh, what the hell is that? But, yeah, this is my hair. So, uh, this is my uh, retwist. Um... And I really, I liked how she did my my hair. Um, so after she did my hair, we set up an appointment for the next time. She was like, "Do you want to wait a um, a month or six weeks? Four weeks or six weeks?" And I was like, "I'll try six weeks to see how it goes." So she has me down for six weeks to get my hair done, and yeah, so I should see her back in August to do get my hair done. Um, so now I am going to grace you guys. I'm going to grace you with the 360. First, I'm going to let you see the top of my head and then I'm going to do that good 360 so that you can see 
the goodness of my locks. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Here you go. Did y'all like that? <laughs> but as you probably can see, my problem area is this side of my head. And if you've watched my other lock videos, then you know what happened. Um, yeah. Slowly but surely is trying to get there. And I cannot, y'all, I cannot wait till my locks fully lock so that I can dye my hair <laughs> so that i could dye my hair if y'all have any suggestions on a color that you think would look good on me put it in the comments below and i want to thank you guys for watching my video if you're not a subscriber of mine please what are you doing hit that subscribe button hit it now hit the subscribe button and don't talk about my ashy hands that i just saw but hit the subscribe button, like, and comment, and share this freaking video. Um, thank you for watching once again. And until we meet again.